folks rob here and uh this was actually my christmas gift i'm just now getting to get it out and unbox it and look at it uh the you know me and sheila have been together almost 16 years and in that 16 years she has never bought me a gun for christmas so and every year she asks me what i want and i say well you know i'd like to have a gun and she her comment is uh always been uh you don't need another gun you got plenty so anyway this year she surprised me and bought me a gun uh and uh so this is what she chose for me uh she sent me a bunch of different links to ones and asked me if i like this one and that one and whatever and so i guess that was her way of deciding but anyway what we have here is a taurus and this is the um pt or the uh the G2S. This is the slim version. So you get your your lock. You get a $30 uh, savings if you want a laser there. Uh, warranty. Your manual. Uh, basic manual. Everybody's familiar with these. Now this is the, uh, the slim model. So this is the... Uh, the seven round version it's similar uh to say like a smith and wesson shield or something like that in its capacity so this comes with two uh seven round magazines Let's see if i can get this tag off and we'll take a look at this a little closer so anyway and uh taurus had a rebate going on so i think that kind of was a uh, part of her uh, decision there but these take uh, seven round magazines single stack comes with two you got your little chamber flag there this does have kind of a black matte finish on it these are made in bainbridge georgia uh the g2s this is still the uh has a loaded chamber indicator this still has the sights similar to the G2s. Uh, the G3s have the more uh, smaller sights, a more modern looking sight. Magazine release and your... These have the double strike capability just like the uh, G2s, G2Cs. And uh, one thing I did notice about it is that trigger shoe sticks out. You can feel that trigger shoe. It fixed, sticks out proud of the... Uh, doesn't go all the way back in so you you feel that now i haven't shot this gun so i don't know if you'll feel that when shooting you have your thumb safety here uh but anyway really slim gun let's see what she weighs let's get a weight on her with the magazine and uh so 20.5 ounces so it's actually just a slightly bit heavier than the Smith & Wesson Shield. So, uh, and we'll look at that to, here in a minute. But, uh, has takedown similar to a Glock. And this gun has never been loaded. It, it is empty. There's nothing in the chamber. But to uh, take this gun down, you would basically, similar to a Glock, pull back a little bit on your slide, pull down, pull your trigger, and slide your slide off now this gun has not been still has the factory packing or the shipping grease and oil that uh comes on them uh so you can see a little bit of that in the frame and uh you know taurus has made a lot of headways with their guns uh it's got nice aggressive uh not as aggressive as the uh the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus by any means, but it's a nice aggressive texturing. Uh, dual captive recoil spring. And you have your barrel, which appears to be a stainless or a matte nickel. And for a gun that's never been fired, it's got some, got some wear on it. Wore a poor finish. <laughs> G204, so maybe it's just dirty. 
But, you know, there's the markings on the barrel. She is dirty. We're definitely going to have to clean this one up before we fire it. Inside there's a look at your striker. Striker assembly. Your drop safety there. Plunger. But, uh, yeah. So that was my Christmas present. So to reassemble it, just basically put your barrel back in. Put your recoil spring back. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's down there and centered. Slide it back onto your frame. And like a Glock, you don't have to flip a lever back up or nothing. So let's, uh, let's see what kind of trigger pull we get on this. Now this does have the double strike capability. I can tell you right now, guys, this does not have a bad trigger whatsoever. Even in that double... It's not heavy. Let's see what that is. Let's get a, a look at that double action. So we're just going to pull through. This is just a double action pull. Five point seven. And that's in double action. Five three. Five eleven, five nine, five twelve. So five point eight, five pounds eight ounce, double action trigger pull. So that's that's not bad at all. So when you cock this gun, you have this take up. There's no no pressure there at all. Let's see what that pressure is just to get it back there. Let's uh, clear that out. And let's just see what pressure it takes to get it back there to the wall. About a pound. About a pound 12 to get it to there. So really no pressure. So once you get back there, you got a little bit of creep. And then it just breaks. And your reset is right there. And really there's no there's no creep in that reset really. Maybe a tad. But it's got a nice clean break to it. So let's get a let's get a double action pull. Or a single action I should say. It's uh so we're we're cocked. And let's see what that will get us. 4.8 This is a carry gun, so you don't want like a super 314 4 pounds 2 3.3 3. And let's do one more for our five average. 411. So we have a four pound, one ounce average trigger pull. So this thing has a really nice trigger. I mean, other than that take up there, a little bit of creep. And I suspect that this trigger will get better with some time. So, and with your magazine inserted you do get a full well I have I wear light size large gloves and I get about two and a half fingers plenty enough to uh, to uh, control this gun you get a nice high bite on your beaver tail here I don't think there's ever an, any real danger getting a slide bite from that you got three dot sights these are adjustable for windage and elevation. And guys, that's just a look at the G2S. Now, I don't know what your com what your thoughts are on uh, single stack guns at this point in time with all the micros and uh, 
from what I understand, this is not substantially, there's not much difference in this and the G2C, which has, well, I think, a, what, 12 rounds capacity. So maybe slightly thinner through the grips, but other than that, that's a guys, that is a look at the Taurus G2S. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. And until the next video, when maybe we'll get to shoot these and uh, see how they do. I appreciate you watching and have a great week.